Hey everybody, it's your girl Coco Kitten Bruja here and I am back with another deck review. And in this particular case, we are uh, reviewing the Myths and Mermaids Oracle of the Water by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Now, at one point in time when I was really starting to collect decks and really getting into um, the aesthetic that I want, you could not tell me that these were not the cutest cards on the face of the planet. Whether you agree or not, it, it is what it is. So I have several decks with this aesthetic. And I just thought that they were absolutely adorable. And mermaids are my absolute jam. So I had to have this deck. Um, this is a deck that came from Amazon. So of course, it's within the $20 to $25 range. Um, and it is a two-part box. So I'm already in love. And let's pull out the guidebook here. So we have the standard type of guidebook as far as um, black and white. Uh, the pages are kind of thin, but the font is okay. I can read this without my glasses, so that's always a plus. We have our table of contents here and our introduction. All of the typical stuff, how to read the cards for yourself, the how to read the cards for others. This particular book talks about how to shuffle the cards. Um, and again, that's always going to come down to you as the reader. And then a few spreads as well. Then we get into the card meanings. Again, black and white, very basic. Not in a bad way, basic, but you know, it's just typical black and white. Um... It gives you a small little like, I don't know if you would call it an incantation, but a nice little poem that goes with it, right? And then it goes into um, your messages, the meaning, and then pretty much what you can do moving forward when this card is pulled. And it just goes into all of them here. Some are landscape and then more works from her in the back. I like this book because it even gives you a section for notes. Me personally, I don't really like writing in books, but for those of you who like to take notes to get a deeper understanding of the cards, I think it's pretty cool that that's an area within the guidebook. So now let's get into the cards. The cards are smaller than the guidebook. However, they are still pretty large. My hand is pretty medium in size, and this covers most of my hand. So those of you with tiny hands, um, you should still be able to shuffle the cards, but you might have a little bit of difficulty. So again, I absolutely love the artwork in these cards. Um, even still, I love the artwork. I don't really use these cards as much as I used to because I have well over 100 decks. So some decks don't get as much love as others. However, um, I feel like this particular deck is still very much a good deck oracle-wise for um, clarifying tarot as far as an overall message for your spread um, standalone wise, you could get a message from these, but at the same time, I feel like they are stronger when used with other decks. So let's get into some of the imagery. And again, this is not going to be everybody's aesthetic. Like I said, I'm a sucker for mermaids and I... I like this particular type of illustrations, this, this type of artwork. I'd say it's semi-diverse as some of the mermaids aren't as pale as others. So... Let me know how you feel about these. I know everybody's not going to be a fan of this particular style, but they come with pretty good messages. They still work. 
very much so when it comes to aiding in other spreads um, for a message. I might use these cards today. It's been so long since I've used them. I've gotten some recommendations for other decks that I've purchased uh, in order to do, oh, she's pretty, in order to do some uh, reviews for you guys. And that's another thing. If you guys have decks that you'd like to see me review, let me know in the comments. And then also, again, let me know how you guys feel about this particular deck. I give it like a 7 out of 10 just because... And I'll say a 7 out of 10 now because of the connection that I used to have to this deck is not necessarily the connection that I have now. And that's no fault to the deck at all. It's just more so because I'm not using it as much as I used to. Um, and this particular aesthetic is not something that pulls to me like it used to. Um, Hit that like, hit that subscribe for more awesome deck reviews. Uh, and then again, always let me know how you feel in the comments. Uh, if you'd like to book a reading, you can always go to CocoKittenBruja.com or just CocoKittenBruja on Instagram and Facebook. And you can check out all of my resin products at prismbyckb.com. All right, you guys, until next time. Peace.